Hi, my name is Zarina Aisha Mirren and in this video I will be discussing what the APM F5 service can actually do. If you checked out my last set of videos, then you also now know the functionality of the LTM, GTM, AFM and ASM F5 services. So APM basically stands for Access Policy Manager and the clue is essentially in the name itself. The features include Identity Federation and SSO, SSL VPN, Web Portal Access, URL filtering and also some really cool policies that you can create. So let's start by explaining what Identity Federation and SSO is. SSO basically stands for Single Sign-On and it essentially means a user can access multiple applications with one centralized log-on. So from an F5 perspective, you may have an LTM, um, maybe using the LTM service, of course, to load balance two different services uh, by the same company. So it might be credit card, a credit card service hosted on one VIP, a load balancing multiple servers, and then pet insurance on another VIP, load balancing multiple servers. And the lady on the screen here has, you know, is able to, should be able to access both of those services because she signed up for both of them. So instead of her remembering these two types of um, logons, details that sh she could have been provided, uh, this APM service would allow her to log on with one set of credentials and then be authenticated by both of the services and thus log in effortlessly. It also gives you the opportunity to create SSL VPN, which basically means creating a tunnel to allow users to access a specific application rather than the whole LAN. Web portal access is also a feature. So for instance, you may have a group of testers and you don't they don't really need access to the network other than the GUI to do their uh, to complete their test scripts on the web application. So you may just decide, hey, I'm going to give them web portal access. You also have the opportunity to create policies. Okay, so here we have a access policy example that I have retained from the F5 Dev Central website, and it's a relatively easy access policy. policy. It's basically checking if a user is authenticated against a couple of ADs and that in turn will determine whether they can have access and this is great because it gives you such granular control of your network. So that's it for this video. To summarize, basically, it's all about access and how you manage it, and you manage it with policy, so everything's essentially in the name. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below, give this video a like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.